Hey everybody, welcome back to One Room Over Gaming. Alright, so today I'm doing a Let's Play that's a little unique. I'm doing Within Scary, but I know I already beat it, so it might seem a little confusing, but the reason I'm doing this is so that I can show you how to get 20 captures on your camera. So if you want to play this game yourself and get the endings yourself, uh, you can do that and not have to just go and rely on someone else's endings. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if it's just this is just kind of a, a video I'm making for fun. Uh, I'm not saying anyone is having trouble getting the pictures, but if you are uh, finding that you're having a little trouble getting the pictures, hopefully the captures that you need, hopefully this video will help you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna do like a full playthrough of this. I'm only gonna show you the areas where you can get captures. So the next time we will meet up again, I will be in the room with the camera, and we will get the camera, and then I will just tell you how I got 20 captures if you want to do it and there's gonna be no spoilers for the game in this so if you're looking for a 20 captures no spoiler run here you go okay guys we're getting our camera so we got our camera and before anything i would just recommend taking a second and then uh taking a few practice snaps so when you see up in the top left hand corner when you have your camera see how that triangle set is there with the x that means you can't take another picture so i would Try and get uh, a little familiar with that so that uh, you can kind of get your snaps off a little bit faster because I think that's going to make a big difference in uh, in how well you do on getting those 20 captures. So I'm just going to run through here real quick and, uh, and just uh, inspect this area because even though I'm not doing a full playthrough, there are still a few things you have to grab to... To do this so the first thing the first uh paranormal encounter you're gonna uh, activate is not that is this mannequin here on the uh, not this one that one the one that i've got in the flashlight that one's gonna move and i think you can get two captures off on it but you have to be pretty speedy and the way you activate it is to go into the bedroom where you found the camera so i'm gonna gonna kind of and then as soon as so we just got two. So we just got two off the bat, just like that. So, and I just did that. Look, I'm going to be very honest with you. The way I did it, I didn't even look at the, the mannequin. As soon as I knew it was moving, I took the picture, and then I looked up in the, in the, um, in the top, top left-hand corner, and as soon as the little, because I got the capture, it'll give you a green check mark. As soon as the little triangle with the green capture disappeared, I instantly clicked again. That's how I got the second capture. So now we're already at two. And as long as I don't screw this up, I can stop it. I can get us up to, I should be able to get us up to five on the next encounter, which is when she comes out of the bedroom. I don't quite know how you trigger her coming out of the bedroom. I, ha I think it's time gated. And I also think it's like distance gated. So you hang out over here and you just kind of got to listen. So I'm going to come over here. I don't want to get too far out of line of sight. Actually, I don't even want to talk. So I'm just going to kind of run back and forth. And as soon as she comes out, I'm going to start going for pictures again. Okay. So I think you just get like, honestly, all I did there, it was super simple. Hold on. Like we got to grab this key real quick. So I just came and checked the door a couple times when it was still closed. I hit E and then as soon I would hit E and then I would go run over here. And yes, you have to run, hold your sprint. I would come just go behind this chair, get about halfway between this chair and this painting. And then I would immediately turn around, sprint back. And if she was coming out of the door, I started snapping those pictures again. Didn't even look at her. I just looked in the, the corner as soon as the little thing that let me know. As soon, see, I'll do it right now. That little, that little triangle, as soon as that disappears, take another snap. That's how you get your snaps fast. That's how you get your captures up. So we've got five. We're already a quarter of the way there. We've only seen two paranormal encounters. Now we should be able to go get a sixth right, uh, right after this. And it's all in sections. So we're gonna come around here. There's a sixth one. I don't think you can get two off of that one, but that's a nice little freebie. We've already got six. We're doing fucking great. So we've got six. 
and we've got our two key. So the next place we're gonna go is to the two gate, because we're gonna be able to we should be able to get another two pictures right after the two gate. All right, guys, here we are at the two gate. And before I go any further, uh, I don't know if I said this before already. I know I told you to just snap the picture as soon as the little icon goes away. But another thing, be especially on this one, you should be able to get two captures right after you go in this gate and kind of come around the corner. But one of the things is don't, uh, don't wait. Be proactive. And I don't mean be too proactive because if you click and, and then you spawn it, uh, you can kind of like screw yourself out of time. But when, uh, when you hear things... So like on this next one, I'm going to hear her before I'm going to see her when she comes at me. And because I take the first picture when I hear her, I uh, I can get off a second picture usually. So don't always wait until you can see the activity to get the activity. As soon as you hear the activity, you should be able to capture the activity. And also, if you're waiting till you can see the activity, you might have missed an opportunity because... The camera can see th shit you can't. And I've learned this. If you wait till you can visually confirm activity with your own eyes, you may have already missed a crucial second in the game to get the picture. Now, I know that sounds really uh, technical or complicated or whatever. It's not. It's just, it just is what it is. I don't know. So I'm going to stop talking because I need to focus because I'm trying to show you guys how to get the captures you need. That should have been another two. And we did get the two off of that, so we're already at eight. We've only seen three ghosts. We've had three encounters. I don't know if they're considered ghosts, but we've had three paranormal encounters. And so far, out of all the paranormal encounters, we have uh, already gotten eight. Which is really damn good. Okay, so we just got two, right? And like I said, this goes pretty fast. It's all in sections. So the next captures we get are literally right... See the corner here? See that corner of the of the glass? That's going to be where our next encounters go. So if you creep around here, you can see the 20... There's our 20 door. And see that light? That lights... As soon as I go to about that bamboo plant... I don't know why I'm pointing. Like, like if I point, it's going to help. But this bamboo plant here, as soon as I walk to about that point... I'm going to trick, it's going to trick, that light's going to go out and there will be three specters. You should be able to get at least three, maybe even four, but you should be guaranteed three off of this encounter. So we're going to go get it. Okay, so we got three off of that. We were at eight, we're at 11. Four encounters, we're already over halfway to 20. So if by this time you hit this, you get to this area of the game, you should be able to get 11 captures with this, uh, with this guide. Now we can go get two more. So we're going to go straight. I got to pick this up real quick. I'm not trying to get notes or anything like that. I'm only getting things that can progress me to get to the next area. So this one's a little tricky, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand here and I'm gonna look, I'm just gonna activate this little chest, but I'm not gonna pay any fucking attention to it. We just got two more off of that. So that's like, you can get two off of that. So we're at 13. We're doing a perfect run right now. And we're about to be able to go get a free, uh, a freebie, which I, the first time I played through this, I didn't realize because it was the first time I played through this. But we're going to be able to go get up to 14 really fucking quick. So uh, the only advice I can give you on this one is start this safe, but don't look directly at it. Start it and then look at this bamboo tree. And you do have to, like, act... You have to pretend like you're playing with the safe, but basically you start it and you don't look at it. And then you just hit E. And I think the second time you hit E, she'll go. So when you see her, forget what you were doing with the safe. Start taking the pictures. 13. All right, I will uh now we got to go outside to get the next ones, so we'll jump to outside. Okay, guys, so we're back. Now we're out. We made it outside. We got the crowbar and all that shit that you need to play the game normally. No spoilers, I promise. Uh but 
uh, we're outside, and remember the first building you could interact with before you could even go in the house? We're back out there. Here's the puzzle box, and we're going to be able to snag a free picture right after we put in the code. So I'm going to walk up, put in the code. It's 47. This is a spoiler. So if uh, I didn't give you the whole code, but if you want to play the game and figure this puzzle out for yourself, there's a way to do it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say the code for anyone who wants the code. Uh, it's 4748. <laughs> Free picture. Free picture. So we're at 14. That's. I think you can do it without getting that free that free picture. But uh, it's just I like to get what I can when I can. I'm trying to make this a little easier, not a little harder. So now we've done everything in here that we can do. We've got everything we need. Uh, so we're going to go down here. Yes. And we're going to go in here. We're going to go in here. We're going to go in here. All right. Before I walk in here, let's preface this because it goes pretty damn quick. All your chances to get your captures go pretty quick. So I should be able to get to... I should be able to get to uh, 17. Once I I'm going to open this door and then to the left there's some wood that you can see through. And you should be able to get a solid three captures off of this one. So we're going to go. And look at we just got three we i wasn't even looking at what the hell was going on over here i aimed my camera at these wooden boards and i just clicked and as soon as that disappeared clicked as soon as disappeared clicked we are at 17 and i know there's a way to get at least three more there's like you can probably get at least four more in here maybe more if you're really talented i'm not that talented but i think i'm gonna be able to get you to where you're going so let's come out here we're gonna go in here now we just go right back out. We got 18. We were at 17, we got 18. So we need two more. And we should be able to get it. So now we just gotta wait. We gotta come in here. Get all our shit. And then you just kinda fuck around for a while. And, I'll, and then I'll talk to you again when we get to where we need to go. Okay guys, so we just uh, got done in here. We, we're in the hallway. We did the two rooms at the end. So on the other end of this hallway is the kitchen and the room that doesn't unlock. And then this was like the little room with the bathroom where you hear chewing sounds. And this is the other room where you get the videotape. No spoilers. Uh, I don't think any of this is spoilers. These are sh things you should find out if you play the game on your own. So we're at 18 captures. Now what's going to happen is we're going to walk forward a little bit. And uh, a specter, like a shadow creature, is going to walk at us. You can conceivably get two captures off of him if you're good, but you should be guaranteed one. So let's go get it. We're gonna go slow. We got 20 right there. We just got 20, baby. So if you can get two off of that one, you're at 20, you're golden. But if you can't, don't worry. If you just got one and you're at 19, don't panic. Stick with me. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Holy shit, are you okay? So come in here. A girl named Mika took the boat from you. She come said, get your shit. She get the hell out of there. It's okay, though. I'm almost there. I, I think I should be at the docks in, in a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, fuck off. So I'm anyway. I finally reached you. Uh, so anyway, uh, I opened the 10... Uh, I had to open the 10 door because at this point you should be able to open the 10 door. You've done well to get to this point. Again, if you're at 19, stick with me. I'm not done with you. You can still get to 20. There's one of these. I'm not going to open it for you because I'm trying not to spoil this game for you. I just want to help you get the captures. I want you to find out what's in the safes. Anyway, we're going to come. So we came in here at 10 door. You've got all you need. You're doing great. Okay, you got, you're at 19 because sometimes you just, uh, it's literally one second that makes the difference. So you're at 19, you're a little stressed out. Don't worry, here comes 20. You're gonna come out of the room where you just open, you're gonna come out of the second room. The 10 door is right there. So you went in this room, then you open the 10 door, you did whatever you need to do in there. And now you're gonna come this way. And in the left hall, that big bald bitch is gonna come after you. And you can get at least one more capture off of her. Here we go. You got two captures off of her. So we are at 20. If you were at 19, you can get up to 20. If you were at 18 and you missed out on 
like if, if, if everything led you to 18, you can still get two off of her. It's just when you go down that hallway, when you go down and look at her, start backing up. Because if you go to the, to the it's a cross, kind of like a crossroads. It's like a four-way stop intersection kind of thing. When you get to the four-way, and it's on the, I will show you what the hell I'm talking about. Just, 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 just in case. So pretend we're just where we were before we got captured. That is not a, that doesn't do anything for you. That just sucks. So like if you're, if that didn't just happen and you're about to trigger it, just walk forward, then immediately start backing up and you can, you can just start snapping those pictures. You can even get away from her if you want to. But anyway, that should be the last time, unless there's another supernatural event that you that i don't know about that's the last one so if you found that you've gotten to that point and you're a little shy i'm sorry you probably if you really want that 20th those 20 captures to do this yourself you're gonna have to go and you'd have to start the game all over again which i know is a pain in the ass because there are certain things like it wouldn't be so bad if some of the cutscenes or the text scenes weren't so uh, drawn out but they take a little while but yeah, that's the 20 capture. So if you follow this guide, uh, if you wanted to play this on your own, get the 20 captures and find all the secrets for yourself. This was the no secrets, spoiler free, 20 captures or 22 captures uh, play th guide. So good luck out there, everybody. And uh, uh, happy hunting. Get all the, get all the endings. Uh, if you want those achievements on Steams or if you just want to get them for yourself. And remember, one of the best ways before you even start getting your captures, just sit down with your camera for a second, click it, watch for the icon. As soon as it disappears, just immediately snap. That's the best way. Cause, and, and again, you don't have to see it with your eyes. The camera sees more than you do. Uh, and those seconds matter. They're precious. So that was that's that's what I got for you. Thank you guys for coming back to One Room Over Gaming. I hope this helped. And uh, until next time, you guys know where I'll be. I will be right here, One Room Over, playing games for you guys. Okay. Happy hunting. Bye, everyone.